Okay, I'm talking to Wallace Timms. This is the brother of Lawrence C. Timms Sr., who was the author of the self-published book in 1981, uh, Tragedy at Old Fish Springs. And uh, Wallace is my uncle. Uh, and Uncle Wallace, you were born and raised in Fish Springs, right? Yes. And what year were you born there? 1922. Okay. And so we're interviewing him today. This is uh, early March 2014. And uh, so this makes you, what, 90? 90, 91. 91 years old. Yes. Uh, and, and you're a World War II veteran, right? Right. So how long did you live there in Fish Springs? Oh, 22 or 3 years. And what was it like growing up there? It was rough. <laughs> what do you mean rough? <laughs> well, there was 15 of us in the family, and all we had was a hillside farm. And we had to work to, we had to, work to survive. That's it. Okay. And what kind of work did you do? Like, are you talking about plowing fields and things? Or? Yeah, hoeing corn and planting corn and on the hillside. Okay. Uh, so, did you all have any meat? Hogs, cows, anything like that? Yeah, we always had a cow or two. Okay. And we always had hogs. Okay. And so this was way before Fish Springs was underwater, right? Oh, yes. And have you been up there to try to... We know the old home place is underwater now, Fish yes. Springs. Yes. Did you go back up there when they let the lake down? Yeah. What was this, early 1980s? Yeah. Did you find any trace of your home or yeah oh we looked at the old well that we dug okay it was half full of water okay so where'd you go to church when you were growing up there uh camel chapel across the river from towards pierce down okay you remember anything about the preacher or anything yeah we had different preachers we had uh johnny hall preached his i guess his first sermon there okay and uh, Preacher Laws preached there, Grant Laws, and Luther Hampton, and different preachers. One of the things we mentioned in our book, uh, Fish Springs Beneath the Surface, is we talk about Fish Springs Baptist Church. Do you remember that? Oh, yes. And we say in that Baptist church that there was a mourner's bench. Yeah. You know yeah. anything about that? Yeah, they had a mourner's bench. And they would almost drag people up to be saved, I guess. <laughs> okay. My mother always said, don't you let them drag you up there. <laughs> okay. What was it? Did you go to a one-room school? No. No, we had a... I'm sorry. You're okay. We had four rooms, but we only so you used went up, a couple had a four-room school? A couple of rooms. And this was Fish Springs School? Yeah, yeah. How long did you, how far of a walk was it from your house to the school? About a mile and a half. Okay, so it took you about 30 minutes or something? Yeah, 45, something like that. Okay. Uh, well, what else can you remember about growing up there? Anything you want to say? Yeah, we had a Baptist preacher for a teacher. <laughs> okay, <laughs> in the school? Yeah. Okay. They had uh, they'd have revivals at the Baptist Church. It was only a couple of hundred yards from our school. Right. They'd turn out at eleven o'clock, and we'd go down there to church till twelve o'clock. Okay. And whether we wanted to or not, we didn't have no choice. Okay. What do you, my dad, who wrote *Tragedy of Old, Old Fish Springs*? Uh, where do you think he got his writing ability? I guess when he was in service, probably, he was uh, kind of a historian for his outfit, I think. Okay. Had you ever heard of the, had you ever read his book, Tragedy at Old Fish Springs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've read it. Okay. Were you looking forward to this book coming out? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anything else you want to say, Uncle Wallace? No, I don't reckon. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay.